All right, let's loop this shmeep. Uh, this is a remote to my air conditioner, which died, and I never understood the remote, but I mean like the point behind the remote, but it's whatever. So I had it in its plastic and I wanted the magnet out of it, so I tear it apart and, you know, use the case to make a thing. It's a good little magnet. I hope to be able to use it for some sort of weirdness I do later. I'm uh, venturing off into the weirdness zone. Anyway, this is Bulls Bizarre Bizarre Broken Bobbles. Thanks for liking, you know, coming, sharing, watching, doing, making fun of the idiot that makes the videos. And here's a spinner ready final shot of the weirdness. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of like a beatbot kind of thing with uh, plants and stuff growing out of it. I don't have to explain it because it just is. It's a uh, thing from an alien planet or maybe a wick evil sorcerer made it in D I don't know. It's whatever. It's the thing that I did. So pop out the magnet. Pop off this thing. Drill some holes in it. You know. Da -da 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 -da. And here we go. This is going through my beads. I'm getting out some wire. And this is leftover stuff from making bracelets and crap because I um, did that for a while uh, as part of my uh, physical therapy thing. And uh, I just wind up with way more stuff than I would ever use. And it's just because I'm obsessive and weird. It's okay. So I make, uh, I take a little, little bitty round bead from this random thing, and a long wooden bead, and I make a, a toe. And I do this a lot. And I should have probably sped this up even more, but I didn't. So anyway, you know, super glue, uh, baking soda. Uh, that's my dirty baking soda. That I have in this thing that I swept back off the table so that I didn't get my other baking soda full of stuff. I don't know, it's a weird thing that I do. So, oh, these are the fingers. I've been two fingers for the handy parts to like make them claw like things. And I did three toes for the beady parts to make them bird like things, I guess, sort of. I'm not really. But yeah. Because that makes some sort of sense somewhere. So I glue on the little thing, I bend it over, and glue on the thing, and slide the bismuth, and bend it, and bend it, and make three of them, put them through a bead, and twist it together. And do that four times. And I could have sped this up so much more, but I didn't. I kind of, as a, I didn't, when I'm editing this stuff, I just kind of go, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I don't have the patience to do a very good job. I don't have the talent to do a very good job. So, you know, get what you want. That's, uh, I guess the whole nature of this is to get what I, uh, I did, and it's not very good, and it's just whatever, you know? Make make your own, make it better. Uh, be that videos or, uh, stuff you make. So stick, like, an ankle bead on there to tie it all together, and then like, set it over to dry, but I'm just kind of like, doing this as I go, this is... I, you know, it's kind of, this is kind of like, uh, a bead bot, kind of like from the bills making stuff, uh... Shout out to that show, that channel that I also watch. Um, anyway, yeah, da, 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 da. and so whatever. I, yeah, I'm just like now kind of doing more artsy weird crap because I just feel like it. These are pony beads, which are not. They're the cheap junko beads that you get from like little girls' hair crap. Uh, and they're kind of too big to do much detail stuff with, which is why this kind of gets covered in Because I'm like, I make it, there's, there's no plan to this thing. It's like, I have this thing, let's make it this. Oh, we'll make it kind of like a scorpion shape, sort of. And then I'm like, nah, we're we'll we'll going to do six legs. And I'm like, nah, we'll do four, make it look really weird. Make it so you don't really know which end is the head and which end is the tail. And if they're all heads or whatever. So, yeah. And you're just kind of like, this is not working. And yeah, it's, it's, it's what I did. So pony beads and then those wooden beads on the end that came from this thing that fell apart that I got from like an auction or a junk shop a million years ago. A thrift store or whatever. And so da 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 I put a little thing on there so I guess that is the head because it's a little different than the other thing. It kind of looks like it's got a sensor array on it, but maybe it just has a different kind of sensor array in the end. Maybe it's got three eyes or sensor ports. I don't know. So glue this back together. The old super glue. And there's a bunch of, uh, oh yeah, this is a 
sculpt and mold esque type stuff, but it's more like there's no plaster in it, so you got a little bit more working time because it's no longer to dry. But it's whatever. And this is horse hair from a horse that lives on the property with me. Uh, anyway, he's a mean horse. And he's the one we have that has the uh, closest to white hair, so you can do whatever. And there he is, and through this whole video, there are several ladybugs flying around. It's just that time of year where they come inside and hang out. They're looking for a place like hibernate or overwinter or whatever. And anyway, just doing tufts of hair in the, where the buttons were, and I just kind of stick them anywhere there's a gap. Because I want it to look like this uh, robot is overgrown and probably not functioning anymore. Or if it is functioning, it's not functioning very well. And I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a... Uh, a... Uh, irrigation robot? Or a... Uh, plant caretaker? Maybe it went around and picked uh, plants that shouldn't be growing out of the ground. Or something, and that's where the source of all these seeds came from. Is it picked up too many weeds and then it died and then they took over? Uh, or I don't know, maybe it's there to fertilize stuff, stir the poop in around things. I don't know. You figure out your own head cannon for this thing. I don't have one. There's no, uh, <clears throat> nothing working up there in my brain for this thing so much. It's just a weirdness that I did. So, did it. Oh yeah, I ran out of horse hair, so I had to go cut more horse hair off the uh, horse. Uh, yeah. Trimmed his mane a little bit. He didn't care. So I just kind of randomly put these tufts all over, and then this is just kind of randomize the length of them. Because I tend to fold them in half and cut them so that it all sticks in one spot so I can... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, did it. Okay, so this is the... Uh, Airbrush primer. I just prime the whole thing. Well, you know, not the whole thing. I try to do it. All. This stuff works for priming uh, hot glue, super glue, plastic, wood, metal. You know, all that stuff. That's so why I, I like it. And I've had that bottle for quite a while. I probably had to check my level and see if I need to order more or not. Uh, I don't have a local hobby shop, so you know, order stuff. Live in the middle of nowhere. Two hours from everything, and yeah. Not a lot of selection in that two hours. You can go to like one place. One city that's two hours away has three shops, and the other one has two that kind of do this kind of uh, more specialty stuff. I mean, I'm sure there's Hobby Lobbies and Michaels and whatever the other ones are, but you know, I can't go in those stores because I'll spend all my money. So I just order what I need and get out. Don't, don't shop. Don't shop if you're a uh, bull because you'll uh, buy stuff. You don't have any money, so just spend more than you should. Uh, yeah, this is a reindeer boss. I got this on clearance at the uh, mall art. Yeah, I don't know, a couple years ago. I just thought it would look cool to have this on the belly of the thing. And uh, I probably should have painted it first or drilled some holes to shove these in, and I did not. But it's okay. So there's more uh, uh, baking soda and clipping off the excess, and that's kind of the process of this, it's just whatever. So this is just plain white glue, and I put it over where the uh, logo for the remote was, and put some grass on there, because maybe that's, I don't know, a thing. And this is just uh, brown uh, craft paint over my uh, weird crown that I made from that paper mache stuff that I made. And this is just uh, grass, static grass. My homemade static grass one. And... Oh, and that's how I put it on the uh, machine to uh, the yeah, robot. And you sweep up the extra, and that goes in my uh, basing random mix, which is what I do with my stuff that falls off or whatever. It all goes in one mix, so it's all the same. This is uh, baking soda and uh, a little glue and water and a little bit of my uh, rust wash stuff. And I'm just kind of dabbing it on and touching it on here and there because this is supposed to be like uh, covered in rust and grime and yuck and maybe it's been digging through the ground and I didn't like the way it would not really hold the texture so I did baking soda all over it and here's brushing off the baking soda. I really need to get like a, I should have used my uh, 
airbrush. There he is, there he is. See him? Yeah, uh, there's a ladybug. Jeez, my airbrush is not all this off, but I didn't think of that not until now because my brain is about 14 to 27 hours behind. That's uh, my processing speed. I'm always on lag. <laughs> anyway. So this is just touching in here and there with some uh, metallics, uh, folk art, something metallic, I don't know, it's right there. It's, yeah, it's just to give it the touch that it looks kind of like there's a robot underneath all this grind, because it's been digging through the whatevers, and I don't know if it's still working and it came up all covered in grossness, or if it's been dead for a while, this is my uh, black wash. Uh, that I have a video for is made with uh, water and uh, watercolor and a little bit of glue and yeah, it's uh, actually charcoal so it's not quite pure black but it's got some whatever. It has some glue to the belly there and let it dry for a little bit and, 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 uh, and there's some alcohol sprayed onto that stuff to just kind of whatever. And this is just literally, a, it's not even a wash, this is paint with way too much water to kind of give some color to the uh, Horse hair, so it's now plants or fronds or reeds or I don't know, fungus maybe? Some weird alien hybrid fungus plant thing? I don't know. The stalks of a plant, uh, wild grasses, and here's a lighter green just to do a fade over from one to the other and it leaves the tips uh, the color of the horse, which is like a yellowy, really light, white color. Anyway, back to the base. Here we go. This is just water and clear school juice, skill, school glue. That Paul purple off of the I don't know what it's called. It's more water and some more uh, school gel clear and some alcohol over it just to hold the grass down that was only held on so far with uh, uh, the paint. And so here I'm just touching up some spots and gluing down the toes to attach the creature to the base. And then we go, okay, the glue's not really setting fast enough, so we do a little bit of uh, whatever, and here's just touch up with some more rust stuff to cover up the uh, leftover uh, baking soda colors and add some variance to stuff. And give it a spinnerini. This is me with a straw literally blowing off what I could blow off. And here's a spinnerini. There's this weird robot -y thing, and there's his face and his belly and his weird hangy, dangly whatevers. And yeah, it's a thing. It's a, I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of agricultural robot. And yeah, my 3D printer's running, so there's noise there. And then my windows, it is windy outside. And yeah. So, sound quality might be a little rough. Anyway. Yeah, da 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 And that's, uh, here's an overhead spinner and some kind of playing around with uh, being a cameraman for a second. Look at this and look at that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I pulled off what I was wanting to do or not, but it's a thing. And here's a, yeah, okay, here's an overhead sweeping shot. And and uh, there's the claw, and there's the feeties, and there's the tail heads, and there's the other side, and there's the feeties, and there's the claws, and here's this shot of the underbelly, which has this uh, reindeer moss, but in this is some sort of giant fungus, and there's his face that won't go into focus, because it's, well, it's not, not much to see, it's just a bead. One of those uh, star beads, or whatever, it looks like a flower. So pretty much anywhere there was a gap, I tried to shove some more hair in there to make it look like it burst out. But, you know, it's what I do. And maybe they aren't, maybe that's actually part of his uh, pollination effort? I don't know. Maybe this thing's like, not a 28mm scale. Maybe it's actually like, the other way around. Maybe instead of a miniature, it's an extra shirt. It's a large model of a micro beast that is there to pollinate fruits on another planet or something. Anyway, Cole's Bizarre Bizarre Broke Bobbles. 
Thanks for coming. Like, share, subscribe. Call me an idiot in the comments. You know, do the thing. See yous.